Hello everybody, in this Python tutorial we're going to go over how to create a line chart with multiple lines. So let's go over a quick overview first. The first thing we did is import our modules or packages or libraries. The next thing we did is we created our data for our x and y axis. Then here we created our plots and assigned each line a unique color. Then we created a title. Then we created our x and y axis labels. Then here we created our legend. And finally we added a grid. So let's go over our code in just a little bit more detail. The first library that we imported was matplotlib.pyplot and we assigned it to plot. So whenever we want to access the parts of the matplotlib, we can just use this abbreviated version called plt and then a dot. Then here we imported matplotlib.patches and we assigned that to mpatches. And we're going to use that to help us create our legend for our chart. Then we've gone ahead and imported numpy and we're going to use numpy to create a range for our x ticks labels. Then here for our data, the first thing we did is we created our x axis labels. Okay, so this is a timeline from January through December of 2016. And then here we created four subsets of data. Okay, and we put them in a list. So for example, here we have some made up sales data for a northern sales region. Then here we have some made up sales data for the eastern sales region. And then we did the same thing for the southern region and the western region. Okay. Then down here, where we get to the part where we're going to plot our data, we want to give each region its own specific color that corresponds to the data for each region for the line on the chart. So to do that, we use the PLT and then a dot and then the plot. And then inside the plot round brackets, we put our region. So here we have the northern region and then a comma and then we assign the color. So the plot on the chart for the line for the northern region should be green. For the eastern region, it should be red. The southern, it should be orange. And the western should be purple. Then to assign the title, you can just simply use plt.title inside the round brackets. Inside the quotes, you put your title. Then here for the x and y axis, we use plt.x label for the x and y label for the y axis. And inside the round brackets for each inside quotes, you just put the title that you want for each axis. Then here for the x ticks, this is going to assign our x labels that we created here to the x axis. And we'll go over that in just a little bit more here in just a second. Then here we created our legend and for each region, so for example here for the northern region, we create a variable, we call it green patch. Then we use our m patches here that we imported here and then a dot and then the patch. And inside the patch round brackets, we create our color. And then we use a comma and then we assign the label. Okay, and when we run this, you'll see how this works just a little bit better and how it assigns the color and the label to the legend. Okay, so what we did here for the northern region, we also did for the other three regions here. And then finally, to create the legend, here we use plt and then a dot and then the legend. And then inside the round brackets, we assigned our patches and this will create the legend for us. Okay. Then here to create a grid, we use plt.grid and inside the round brackets we put true. Then finally here, depending on what type of IDE or text editor you're using to show the actual chart, normally you want to go ahead and type out plt.show with the round brackets. Okay, real quick back up to the plt.xtix here. Just make a quick note that here, where we've used our NumPy range, this is very similar to a normal range, where in a normal range you can put in a start, a stop, and a step. In this case, we just put in this stop, and this will create a series of numbers and assign it to the x-axis, and it will give us locations on the x-axis, okay? And then here, we create the labels. So this creates the locations on the x-axis, and then these labels will be assigned to those locations. Then here we added an extra argument 
which puts in a rotation for those labels, and that will simply rotate the labels so they don't overlap. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our code and see what we get. Okay, so you can see over here in the console, we get our chart. You can see we have four lines, and each line represents the data that we created here. So the north is the green line, the east is the red line, the south is the orange line, and the west is the purple line. We have our title, our x-axis label, our y-axis label, and then we have the units for the y-axis, and then we have our labels for the x-axis here. Now notice that these have been rotated, and that's what we did with this rotation here when we used the plt.xtix. Now if you set that back to zero and we run it, you can see that the labels overlap. So that's why we've gone ahead and set this to 90 to rotate those so you can actually read them down here on the bottom. Now let's show you another thing. If you set this grid to false and you run it, then your grid is taken away. So it's really just personal preference or depending on what you like to see or your audience likes to see, depending on whether you want to put that grid in or not. Let's go ahead and add that back. And one thing to do that's always good to make sure that your data has been plotted correctly is just check your data here. So for example, here we have our northern region. And let's check and make sure that the lines and the colors have been assigned properly. So here we have the northern region. The last value for that is 118. So if we go over here and we look for 118, that's the green line. And it does look like here we assigned the northern region, the green line. So it looks like that's good to go. For the eastern region, that should be a red line and the last value should be 200. That looks good. For the southern region, we have an orange line and the last value in our data set for that here is four. That looks good on our plot. And for the western region, that should be a purple line and the last value in that data set is 55. And you can see over here on the chart, the purple line, the western region last value is 55. Okay, so it looks like we've set that up correctly. Now one thing before we completely finish up, if you're using the Spider IDE and you want to take these charts and put them in a presentation, like a PowerPoint or a Keynote or something, you can just go over to your console and do what's equivalent to a right click. And you can do a copy image. And then you can pull up your presentation. So let's pull up Keynote, and then you can just do a simple paste, okay? Then you can resize as needed, and you should be good to go. Okay, so that's all we have for this tutorial. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.